Greetings and welcome to the Why Struggle podcast. I'm your host, Barbara J. Faison, and my intention with this podcast is to offer ideas, insights, and inspirations so you can live life better. Greetings and welcome to 2024, week 44, Things Are Always Working Out. This is an episode about things always working out for my highest good. One of my beliefs is that everything happens in divine order. I can think of so many times that I had a plan and my plan didn't execute like I hoped it would. And when I would take the time to reflect and review, what happened was just what needed to happen. Everything is purposeful, even if I don't get why at the time. I was scheduled for a routine colonoscopy on Friday, September 27th at 1 p.m. I called Kaiser Thursday morning to confirm that everything was still set because we were expecting a hurricane to hit the area. I was told my procedure was still scheduled and to check the app and online portal in case anything changed. The preparation for the colonoscopy requires you to fast and drink a solution to clean you out before the procedure. I was to start a liquid fast by noon on Thursday, so I checked online before I started the process of a liquid diet. I was scheduled to be there by 10.30 a.m. for my procedure on Friday. Nothing had changed. Something told me to cancel my procedure because they were saying the weather was going to be terrible. I didn't. I didn't trust my guidance. By Friday morning, the hurricane had passed through. We had some flooding and the afterlook of a storm where things looked very calm and almost dusky even in the middle of the day. My husband T.D. and I drove up to the Kaiser facility and both of us noted how quiet it seemed. When we reached the area to park, there were no cars. Not a good sign. There was a sign posted that all procedures had been canceled. I looked at T.D. and said, something told me to cancel and reschedule. He looked at me and said, I know you're hungry. Let's get something to eat. (laughs) I love this man. After driving around a bit looking for a place that was open with electricity, we ended up at IHOP. I am really proud of myself for not having pancakes. When we got back home, we didn't have electricity for a bit and we carried on with the rest of the day. The colonoscopy prep really helped me clean out my system and I went over two weeks without any sweets other than mints. It was a great reset. Remember I said everything was purposeful? Yeah. I rescheduled my appointment for Friday, November 1st. Well, I know what to expect with fasting and drinking the solution, right? (laughs) I give thanks and know that things are always working out as they're supposed to work out. I hope you enjoy this track, Things Are Always Working Out For Me, in case you need a reminder as well. Greetings, this is Barbara. And this meditation is a reminder that things are working out for you, even when it doesn't feel that way. And sometimes we just need to be encouraging to ourselves. This is from an Abraham Hicks concept that I've learned called things are always working out. So take a moment to settle in wherever you are. Take a few breaths on your own, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Give yourself permission to relax by making this statement out loud. I allow my mind, body, and spirit to relax and receive. If you feel comfortable and safe, allow your eyes to close or lower. If you'd like to bring to mind something you desire, and begin to feel that desire with your entire body. Breathing at your regular pace, just imagine how it feels to have what you desire. 
If you want to bring a smile to your face, feel free to do so. And now, we will immerse ourselves in this desire. You may listen to these words or repeat them, whatever feels right for you right now. This is a simple reminder that things are always working out. No matter what is happening, things are always working out for me. I trust that things are always working out for me. Whatever is for my highest good is working out for me now. I love how things are always working out for me. Even when I can't see it, things are always working out for me. Everything is always working out for my highest and greatest good. I am grateful that things are always working out for me. No matter what is happening, things are always working out for me. I trust that things are always working out for me now. Whatever is for my highest good is working out for me right now. I love how things are always working out for me now. Even when I can't see it or feel it, things are always working out for me. Everything is always working out for my highest and greatest good. I am so very grateful that things are always working out for me. Notice how you feel in your body in this moment. Take a deep breath in through the nose with a loud exhale through the mouth. Return your mind, body, and spirit back to this moment. Open your eyes. Take a look around. Do a quick check in with your body and notice how you feel now. Whenever you need to, Remind yourself that things are always working out for your highest and greatest good. Thank you for joining me for this practice. Until next time, be kind to yourself and be well. What did you think about that? Do you tend to think that things are working out for you? Or do you question when things don't happen just the way you want them to? Leave a comment, observation, or reflection where you're listening to this podcast. If you'd like to share your thoughts with me, Barbara Faison, LLC at Gmail is the best way to reach me. And if social media is better for you, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram are best. The card I pulled for us today from my Relax, Listen, and Trust Your Inner Guidance card deck. The number six trust card. The vision for my life is clear and I move with ease and grace. 
I love this card to remind me to stay steadfast with my life and vision. All timing is divine. If you'd like to order a card deck, you can go to barbarafason.com slash store and look for the cards. You can use Ship 10 for free shipping and 10% off the card deck. Our Breathe with Barbara live sessions start Wednesday, October 9th from 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern. You can find out more by going to barbarafason.com slash store and look for live sessions. You can also use Ship 10 for 10% off the live sessions. I hope you will check out my YouTube channel, Barbara Faison, where I share ideas, insights, and reminders to be in the present moment called Breath Breaks and more. If you'd like to take a breath break, you can find over 50 on the Breath Break playlist. Be sure to subscribe, follow, share, and leave a comment if you joined. Feel free to share your thoughts, ask a question, or just say hello to me via email at barbarafasonllc at gmail.com. You can also find upcoming events and where you can meditate with me. All of the links are on linktr.ee dot ee slash Barbara Faison. Thank you for your support and being on this journey with me. Until next time, keep breathing and do something new. Be well and be kind to you. Keep breathing. <laughs>